Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Neighborhood Presents, It's a Horrible Circumstance, Inside a Federal Government Bureaucrat's Pressure-Filled Decision to Delay the Shift, As the only obstacle between President-elect Joe Biden and the formal start of the governmental shift, General Services Administrator Emily Murphy is having problem with the weight of the governmental election being dropped on her shoulders, seeming like she's been put in a no-win scenario, according to individuals who have actually talked to her just recently. This was never ever a position that Murphy believed she would discover herself in, the people stated. However as the government authorities in charge of approving the election result, President Donald Trump's refusal to yield the election has tossed Murphy into the middle of a political firestorm. Facing mounting pressure from both sides, and even death hazards, the sources state Murphy is working to translate vague company standards and follow what she sees as precedent to wait to validate the election result, a process referred to as ascertainment that would allow the main governmental transition to start. Still, Murphy's stalled sign-off is among the more confounding decisions made because of the election, considering that it's clear Biden won and Trump's legal challenges won't alter the result. Biden's group has alerted the holdup as real-world repercussions to nationwide security and their COVID-19 action. Sources who spoke to CNN could not say whether Murphy has actually been in touch with the White House on the problem. She absolutely feels like she's in a tough location. She's scared on multiple levels. It's a terrible circumstance, one pal and former colleague of Murphy's told CNN. Emily is a consummate expert, a deeply moral person, However likewise a very scrupulous lawyer who remains in an extremely tough position with an uncertain law and precedence that lags her position. She's doing what she believes is her honest responsibility as somebody who has sworn real loyalty to the Constitution of the United States of America, and the laws that govern her position, the friend added. Murphy decreased an interview asked for this story, and GSA declined to comment. A technocrat with a prolonged profession, sources near Murphy explain her as a technocrat and policy wonk, with a prolonged career as a congressional aide and at GSA. It's unclear what particular actions Murphy is waiting on before approving ascertainment. Sources inform CNN she is basing her choice on what she views as the precedent set by the 2000 election, where there was not a clear winner for more than a month. Two sources near to the transition informed CNN that Trump's dreadful day in court last Friday had actually moved the dial forward, but days later there was still no ascertainment letter for Murphy. The impending arise from Georgia's recount, which are expected to be accredited Friday without any remarkable shift in results, along with other states beginning to accredit the election are likewise factors in Murphy's choice, these sources said. However Murphy has not publicly said what the definitive line will be. My experiences with Emily have actually led me to think she is an ethical and moral person, but I highly disagree with her present choice not to determine the election, said a previous administration official and associate of Murphy's who had spoken to her in recent days. I believe she's definitely making the wrong decision. President-elect Biden clearly won. And there really is no concern about that, it is incorrect to delay, even by another minute, the signing of the ascertainment. It's been more than a week since CNN and other news organizations called the governmental election for Biden, and the Trump campaign suits challenging the outcome have been repeatedly tossed out of court, while failing to challenge sufficient votes that would change the result. But Trump has actually continued to make repeated incorrect claims that he did not lose the election, and Murphy's choice not to establish the result has actually locked Biden and his group out of access to contacts with the federal companies, funding to assist increase federal government employing for the brand new administration and access to classified intelligence instructions. The Biden team likewise does not have access to the federal government's coronavirus vaccine distribution efforts. More people may die if we don't collaborate, Biden stated Monday. There are also concerns amongst national security specialists that a postponed shift could leave the government susceptible to security threats, both domestic and abroad. Talking to her predecessor, Democrats are furious with Murphy for playing into Trump's false fantasies that the election was taken from him. At the very same time, Republicans are pressing her to stand firm and not sign the ascertainment. Previous associates of Murphy told CNN that regardless of being a political appointee, she was not an avid Trump advocate or loyalist. She's going to be really thoughtful about both the letter of the law, any guidelines, specific guidance, any precedents, in addition to the general intent. She comes out of contracts, where that is the whole nature of the work, the good friend and former associate said. In an indication she noticed the post-election problem awaiting her, Murphy held a call prior to November 3rd with one of her predecessors, David Barham, who was in charge of GSA throughout the 2000 election, according to two sources with direct knowledge of the call. Barham, a Bill Clinton political appointee, ultimately ascertained Bush as then winner of the 2000 election after the Supreme Court ended the Florida recount. 
The call was set up by shared partners as a way for Barham to discuss his experience and the hard position he was put in, the sources said. The Associated Press initially reported the call. While GSA has actually compared the current scenario to the standoff in between George Bush and Al Gore, Barham said in a podcast last week that this election was considerably different than what took place in 2000. It was all about Florida. One state, and something like 537 votes. Everybody knew that once Florida was settled, the winner would become clear, Barham said. From the Hill to GSA, Murphy has been in charge of GSA given that 2017, making her one of the longer-serving Trump appointees. Before her election, she worked as a senior advisor to her predecessor at GSA, as an aide for your home armed services and small business committees, as a lawyer in personal practice and as GSA's primary acquisition officer throughout the George W. Bush administration. Numerous sources explain Murphy as a political individual, but not a Trump person and not a partisan hand. Initially from Missouri, Murphy was presented at her verification hearing by former Missouri Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill, who applauded her prolonged career in federal government. She was confirmed in the Senate by voice vote. Suzette Kent, the federal chief information officer selected by Trump in 2018, co-chaired a government board with Murphy, and described her as a professional who showed a high degree of stability and exceptionally proficient. Because the election was called, Democrats on Capitol Hill have required Murphy explain why she hasn't approved ascertainment, sending her a letter recently that she's yet to respond to. However, Biden's group is arguing to congressional Democrats that it makes the most strategic sense for now to let public pressure develop on Trump avoiding the shift, rather than attempting to subpoena Murphy. Senator James Lankford, an Oklahoma Republican, stated recently that he would step in last Friday if Biden was still not getting intelligence instructions that are supposed to be given to the president-elect. That deadline has actually reoccurred. On Tuesday, Langford said he and his personnel had been in touch with GSA, and protected Murphy's decision not to approve ascertainment. I did step in, I did talk with them on Friday, Langford stated, though he did not say if he talked to Murphy. There's no other way they can determine, Langford added. GSA is not the electors. Debate over FBI HQ. This isn't Murphy's first brush with debate as a Trump appointee. In 2018, she belonged to a questionable decision to ditch plans for a brand new FBI headquarters outside Washington, D.C., and instead restore on the very same place throughout the street from the Trump International Hotel. She dealt with concerns at a 2018 congressional hearing over whether the White House was involved in the decision, which critics charged Trump influenced in order to keep a competitor from getting the space across from his hotel. Murphy had spoken to Trump about the project in the Oval Office, which she did not disclose to lawmakers. The GSA inspector general charged that her testimony left the misleading impression that she had no discussions with the president or senior White House authorities in the decision-making procedure about the task. Murphy stated the inspector general's conclusion was unproven and unreasonable. Despite a rocky start, we developed a constructive, efficient, ongoing relationship, Representative Mike Quigley of Illinois, the top Democrat on the House Appropriations Subcommittee that manages GSA, informed CNN. It's my impassioned hope she will do the right thing here. Alan Schwatkin, a senior executive at a Washington, D.C., trade association who has dealt with Murphy for more than 20 years, stated he was a strong supporter of her election since of her deep understanding of how the firm runs and her commitment to comprehending the nature of the concerns she's dealing with. He stated when Murphy dealt with a choice, she would speak with broadly, ask others for research study, and ensure she understood the scope and implications of a choice prior to making it. In an increased political atmosphere, lots of people don't know her, and they definitely do not understand the job that she's responsible for, Trotkin stated. If you just separate one or two topics it's simple to reach the wrong conclusion. Previous Republican Missouri Senator Jim Talent informed CNN he has understood Murphy 25 years and that she worked for him when he chaired your home small business committee during the Clinton administration. Talent applauded Murphy's integrity, blaming the law for putting the onus on the GSA. Something is incorrect with the system where the obligation for declaring the winner of a presidential election appears to devolve upon the General Services Administration as the government's proprietor. They purchase furnishings, Talent said. I understand individuals' is disappointment, but the problem is an electoral system that cannot come to a finality. It's not Emily or the GSA.